Hello, my name is Baconism, I'm the permanent damage guy, and this is how I beat Minecraft with permanent levitation. I activated the levitate command and filled my hands until I finally broke a log. Because you're always considered to be in a state of falling, everything you mine takes two or three times longer. I eventually got enough wood for a bow and sailed to the river where I learned two vital things. One is that you can swim with levitation, and the other is that once you're airborne, you're right royally fucked. Keep inventory is on for this challenge, but it would be completely possible without it. It's just to save me a few hours at all, and the other reason is because of the slash kill command. Entering the pillager outpost looked like more hostile than it was worth, so I drifted downstream looking for really anything, and that was when I saw a village. After dying in some way of which I don't remember, I killed a man and looted three blacksmiths, or well, I tried at least. I decided to become a squatter, so I set up shop in one of the blacksmiths and headed further downstream, where I accidentally found a lava pool. Anyway, I might have enough obsidian for another portal, crashed my boat into the village, and headed to hell because I can't float away in there. Before I committed to travelling the nether, I used the stolen goods to make a golden axe and chop down some trees. If you thought I was going to be any bit careful in this challenge when you're about to be sorely mistaken, I could traverse the nether by carefully placing blocks above my head, and I did do that a little bit, but that is really slow. I think wooden cannibals are better, but that's just my opinion, and people's opinions are why I don't have Twitter. Anyway, after plunging into a god apple and nearly dying in a wall three minutes later having to use it, I arrived at another fortress, and oh my god, was this gonna suck. I used the gold block from the ruined portal to make two golden axes, from there I made some boats and trapdoors after chopping down some trees, and then set back out into the nether. I returned back to the fortress and, after an hour, managed to work my way through the wall, but eventually I did get antsy so I just dive bombed straight out of the ceiling. And this worked a lot better than I was expecting, and I'm a little mad I didn't realise I could just do this sooner. But it is what it is I guess. I collected far too many blaze rods, spent an hour waiting for Enderman to teleport to me, and died. But who cares because keep inventory is so freaking busted. But now it's time to toss some eyes and sail the ocean green. I appreciate that I'm going through this kind of quickly, I mean I normally do, but even so, like I normally make more mistakes so it's just more to talk about. Anyway, so I googled if it's illegal to just take turtles from the wild, and was curious how easy it would be to go swimming. Also if you're wondering, yes, it is in fact illegal apparently, according to Cora, so that could be wrong for all I know. So after nearly burning up in the atmosphere, I half found the stronghold after sailing for a little while. I know it was under me somewhere, but where exactly eludes me? Screw it, I can't do much of anything right. While listening to the tones of successful jelly metamorphosis, I collected the cobwebs from your undusted desk, found a few pearls lying around, and accidentally mined into the portal room. Well, this is also going to suck, I suppose. Uh, I just found out I didn't record my voice whilst I was speaking, and what I mean by this is my microphone itself was muted, but when I was recording, the software wasn't. Anyway, now I don't know how to edit the end fight, so um... Long story short, I spent 1 hour 45 minutes and 12 seconds building a head bridge to kill the dragon because I didn't know what else to do. I mean, I did Trevor's tunnel method, but it took so long I just got bored. Looking at this pitiful statistic, I can already tell that very few people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, it's free and you can always change your mind. And if you enjoyed this video, you won't want to miss the next one, because that is when I will beat Minecraft without ever taking damage. But I've been Baconism, I'm the Permanent Damage Guy, and this was how I beat Minecraft with Permanent Levitation. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Down, I was short.